Hey guys, welcome back to Sophisticates by Mary. And if you're new here, welcome. For this tutorial, I wanted to show you how you can take one cake design and change it by simply doing a different topper. Now this cake design is a more neutral design. And that is part of the reason why you can change the top. The first design I would consider a little bit more traditional and the second one I would consider a little bit more contemporary and modern. So if this sounds interesting, please stick around and we'll get right to it. So for the more contemporary and modern topper, I decided to make a rice paper bowl. Now this is just your normal rice paper or some people call it wonton wrappers that you can find in your grocery store or on Amazon. And I am just using some water mixed with a little bit of food coloring. But first of all, I want to saturate the entire piece of rice, rice paper with just plain water because I wanted the color to be around the edge. So you'll know this is saturated and I did turn it over there. You'll know it's saturated when it becomes transparent like that. You can see through it. It's a little bit more opaque to begin with and then it turns transparent as it gets saturated. As it dries, it goes back to more of an opaque look. And then I'm just using that blue tinted water. I just use sky blue food coloring, gel food coloring, just to accent those outside edges. And I wanted it to kind of ombre in towards the middle a little bit. So I'm just using the brush dipped in some more of the just plain water to pull that line in and soften the look a little bit. And then I tapped off the extra with a paper towel. Now I just used two cups that I had stacked up. You could use a vase or any kind of a vessel that's going to give you the shape that you want your rice paper to dry in on top of a sheet pan. And I'm just using paper clips to pinch those pieces together, pinch the end, give it some, a little bit of a folded look. You're, I don't know what to call it. You're kind of gathering that silicone mat and then just leave it to air dry. Or if you want to, you could pop it in your oven to speed up the drying. But I will say if you do do that, put it on your lowest temperature on your oven. Mine goes down to 170 degrees and I've had okay luck with that. But when it is dry to the touch and when you tap it and you can hear a clicking sound, turn the oven off and crack the door open with a wooden spoon and let it slowly come cool down. Otherwise it will crack. Little tips there. And while that is happening, I went ahead and I started with an already crumb coated cake this was four layers of cake, I believe. And I had it crumb coated with some dark chocolate ganache, which is just equal parts. I'm sorry, not equal parts. It's two parts chocolate to one part heavy cream melted together in the microwave slowly and then left to, to cool down, come to room temperature. And I covered that with the final coat of my American buttercream, which I will try to remember to attach a link at this point. Now set it in your refrigerator for 20 minutes or your freezer for 10 minutes to firm up before you go on with this palette knife technique. And I just used lavender, or it's, I guess it's not lavender, it's more of a purple. I did add a little blue to this purple, um, sky blue, and then I use a little bit of gray also. And I'm just attaching it, attaching, applying it with my palette knife and just kind of pulling the ends up and down so that your color is more concentrated in the middle and then kind of feathered up and down. You could show this in between your colors if you don't want them to bleed into each other. I didn't mind so much, so I just went ahead and did one color after the other and just tried not to scrape down too much into the color underneath it. I didn't mind if I got some kind of a tertiary color, I guess is what you would call it, in between the two tones because the sprinkle mix that I'm using has a variety of colors in it. And the gray, honestly, I just had that on hand. So I just, I kind of think that when you do three colors looks better than two. It's kind of, has a more even flow. I don't know. I'm having trouble with words today. <laughs> this, as you can tell, this is not planned out. I do not have a script. I just kind of Watch the video as it goes and tell you what I'm doing. A little more free form. <laughs> I 
And once I got that where I wanted it, I stopped with the palette knife and then started in with the sprinkles right away. I did not set this in the refrigerator or the freezer to firm up because this is a crusting American buttercream and I wanted the sprinkles to stick to it. So I wanted to attach these before it uh, started to crust over. And the way I'm getting those attached is I'm just dipping my finger in water and then dipping it in the sprinkles and transferring it that way. Just make sure that your hands are clean and dry. I find that it's hard to do this with gloves on. So I just always, I don't like to work with gloves if I don't have to, so I just always make sure that my hands are clean and dry. If you see my fingers stained, it's not dirt, it is food coloring. I promise. Not that anybody said anything, I just wanna clear that up. So I'm just going ahead and doing this all around the middle and then kind of gradiating it out also, just like I kind of tried to do with the palette knife and the buttercream. And at this point, I'm just using some small, very small white dragées that I have and just kind of trying to um, bring the texture out towards the outside edge just, edge just a little bit, just so that it's not all the design is just, just exactly in the middle. And I'm attaching in the same way by dip, dipping my fingers in water and then into the sprinkles. I just wanted to put some of these um, dragées around the bottom, so I just poured them around the bottom and then just used my palette knife to push them up towards the cake and they stuck that way. And now my topper is dry. So I'm going to very gently, very gently take these pins off and just kind of try to pull that silicone mat away from it little bits at a time. Like I said, this is very fragile. This is just one thin layer of, of uh, rice paper. So once you get it off the mat, it's okay. But it's getting it off the mat that's the tricky part. And once it loosens up, just go ahead and pull it off. And there you go. There is my rice paper bowl. Now I debated on if I wanted to fill the bowl with the flowers or use them an, as an accent around. And I decided to go ahead and just use some of my silk flowers and place them around the bowl. Now, I did not go all the way around the back because, well, there's really no purpose since this is not for an order, but if it was, I would go ahead and wrap those flowers all around the back also. And I'm just sticking those in. There's some buttercream underneath there that I'm sticking them into. So there is the first option. Now I took all of that off and decided to go in with some other silk flowers, just some silk flowers. Now you can use real flowers, you can use sugar flowers if you want, but I just went ahead, I for my videos I tend to do the silk flowers, just it's a little bit, honestly, a little bit more cost effective. <laughs> and I'm just attaching these with buttercream. I did not bother to put any straws in to put the flowers in because they are just stuck straight into the buttercream. And you can just scrape that buttercream off if you're worried about it being food safe. I just arrange these how you feel looks pretty. You don't even have to do any of these same color schemes if you don't want to. Do whatever colors you want. It's just the technique that I wanted to show you mainly. All of my designs can be changed color palettes. It, it's whatever you want or whatever your client wants. So I'm hoping I was able to show you how you can take the same cake and change it just by changing the topper. I hope you liked it guys. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video and if you'd like to watch some other videos go ahead and click on the link to one of these other videos shown here and if you would like to 
Check out my other social media. I am on Facebook and Instagram under the same name, Sophisticates by Mary. And please take the time to share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload another video. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next tutorial.